Isn't this cube super pretty? It's like a special edition GTS 2M. It's really nice. I love it. Hey guys, it's me, Cubix. What I have here in front of me is the Shangxiao Mr. M version 2. This cube did not do very well. It was released in summer of 2020. I didn't get it until, well, today. If you look for reviews for this cube, there are essentially three. One of them is from the cubicle, and they roast this cube, basically saying that it's really bad. The other two reviews, which I'll have linked below in the description, say that the cube is not horrible, but it's definitely not worth buying. And logically, from those three fantastic reviews of this cube, I decided to buy it and see what the fuss was about. And before we even talk about the details of the cube, here's a clip of me just spamming Alex on the puzzle. And you can see that it actually performs quite well. I get my normal TPS on it, I don't get any lockups or catches. And even here when I'm doing a solve, I'm still getting really good times. My overall averages are about the same as what I would get on any other cube. It seems fine, right? And this cube also has decent features. It has a spring compression system that's easy to use, very intuitive, and works really well. And the magnets, although not adjustable, actually feel pretty good. Corner cutting is also fantastic. In fact, for reverse corner cutting, I would say that the Mr. M is among the best of all 3x3s that I've ever used. It's right up there with GAN. It's a little bit harsher, but the amount of reverse corner cutting that you can do is essentially the best. Out of the box, the cube was really dry and very, very tight. But even then, as you just saw with that solve, I was still getting good time. So it, really, performance-wise, this is not a bad cube by any means. But with all of that being said, I would agree with the other reviews that this cube is just not worth maining at all. In fact, it's not even worth purchasing. So then what is it about this cube that makes it so wildly unpopular? I'm calling this the Mr. M conundrum. It's not really a conundrum, but eh, whatever, it sounds nice. The reason this cube is so unpopular and the reason nobody likes this cube is not because of the performance or the times that people are getting on this cube. It's because of the plastic that's used. If you just look at the plastic, it it's incredibly cheap. Like It just feels like a cheap puzzle, especially when it was dry, when I turn it out of the box. It just, it felt so bad. It felt like, it felt like a Yushin Little Magic, or honestly, the plastic was very similar to the Maru CM3. And actually, the CM3 was the first thing that I thought of when I turned the Mr. M version 2. Both of these cubes suffer from the same problem, which is that the mechanisms are not bad. And performance-wise, these cubes are not horrible. But the plastic makes a really big difference. Not only the quality of the plastic that's used, which in this case is very poor, but also the quality of the molds that are used to make this cube. You can see the flash marks on the puzzle. You can see exactly where the halves of the molds meet. In comparison, if you take a cube like the GAN Aluminum Pro, obviously a much more expensive cube, you can see that the plastic quality is better, but also the techniques for injection molding are far superior. And in 2020, which is when this cube came out, and moving forward, these are not acceptable things to do anymore. Unless you want to make a cube for $4 or under. So the problem with a cube like the Mr. M version 2, as well as the CM3, is that for 12 bucks, that's more expensive than something like the Ars 3M, which has exactly the same feature set as this cube, but with far superior plastic. Also, as a side note, in 2020, in 2021, it's a little bit unacceptable to have a cube that only comes in stickered. It's a little bit outdated. I personally do like stickered puzzles, but the majority of people these days want stickerless. So if you can only have one, it's probably better to go with stickerless. And I guess the broader thing at play here is that when we're talking about 3x3s, at this point in time, the mechanism is essentially solved, right? It's, it's more or less optimized. People know how to make cubes that can corner cut 45 degrees and reverse corner cut really well. In fact, even, I, even I'm able to do it in an afternoon. This is 3D printed, really low resolution, and even my cube can corner cut 45 degrees and reverse corner cut really well. So these are solved problems. So at this point in time, if you're a manufacturer and you're trying to make a 3x3, it has to have a list of qualities or else it's just not marketable or viable in any way. Not only does the cube have to have a mechanism that allows it to corner cut really well and obviously not pop, but it also has to have good plastic and turn really well. The feel of the cube is just as important as the performance at this point in time. 
even cubes that are six dollars at this point are amazing the maylong 3m is actually currently my main and it's one of my favorite cubes of all time and yeah that cube is six bucks so you absolutely cannot have a cube that's being sold for twelve dollars or more and have it feel like the mr m version 2 or the Mario cm3 it's just unacceptable it's kind of unfortunate to be honest because with better quality plastic i actually think this cube could easily be my main it's fairly light too i think it's 74 grams performance is really good and compression system pretty good but this plastic it's no good all right guys thanks for watching if you like the video make sure to thumbs it up also i looked at my analytics recently and it turns out more than half of you who watch my videos are not subscribed so if you've seen my videos before and you seem to keep coming back to them you may as well subscribe but no pressure all right thanks for watching guys until next time. Toodles. Haha, <laughs> all the pieces feel the same, don't they?